This paternity case with Jay-Z is really crazy. Just to think that Jay could end it all with just taking the test. Does he fear he will hear the words, you are the father? I mean, if you look at this young man, he does have some resemblance to Jay-Z. I mean, I think. And the question is, why would he fight in court for this long if he did not think Jay-Z was his real father? This case has been going on for 10 years. This young man was told by his mom before she passed away that Jay-Z was indeed his father. So now the case is heading to the Supreme Court. Ramir has filed a motion to unseal the case. And why is it sealed in the first place? Hmm. Listen in as he explains the reason why he's not giving up and his experience dealing with the court system throughout this lengthy process. Listen in. Your court, me, my mom, my god mom, we've been in court for many years and it's just been crazy. Like, I, as I said before, it's been crazy. Um, we've been going in there. I don't feel like we've been getting our rights really appreciated. So important to deal with because all the fraud on the court, if we if we just let that, you know, just pass and not say anything about it, they would continue to do anything they want. This is not just with us, it's with people in the world. Like a lot of fraud and a lot of collusion that's just been going on and just been looked over is was never supposed to happen. Like, and I would not let that pass. I'm not letting the lawyers get away with that. They will not go in the courtroom of justice and just lie like that and continue to and continue to get praised off it or, you know use this lie to benefit off of all these years. Like we've been going to court, putting our hard own money out there and we going in there to fight fraud. That's just so, that's, that's craziness. That's really craziness. And I don't think nobody in the world should have to go through that. You going in there, you paying your hard own money. You got these lawyers that's just frauding and putting anything they doing, anything they want basically in the courtroom and the judges is just allowing this to go on. I honestly believe that someone both of them should be hold hold it responsible for this because if you guys this, this is you guys' job and if the judge can't see this or overlook it, I, I can understand a, a mistake, but just throughout the years, this continue to overlook fraud is just it's just, just craziness to me. Like, come on, it's 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 right there in your face. If you can't see that, then I don't know, I don't know what else we can do to help you guys believe that it's something crazy going on with this case. Like like I, honestly, I just want everybody in the world just to keep their eyes open and just watch things that happen. That this like how how things unfold because it's just it's crazy. It really is crazy. These judges, these lawyers, this 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 fraud, this collusion. Who knows what it's for? Money or friendships or whatever they got going on. But I can honestly say that we should never go in the courtroom feeling like we're already the victims and we did nothing wrong. We did nothing wrong, but come in here, tell you guys the truth, put our life on the line, come to every court case and give give you 100% plus of us. And you know, basically we just got stepped over, stepped on, and basically, you know, just try to get dragged through the system. But no, we won't let that go. That's not us. We're, we're not, we're not, <laughs> we're not letting this go. And we will continue to fight. Like, especially for fraud and collusion that's been going on. No, I will not let nobody just put that on our, my name, my mother's name, my godmother's name. We, we, we will fight for what is right, like we've been doing all these years. You know, spend time with their family and their loved ones and anyone that was sick, you know, we will pray for you guys and hope you got out of your sickness and everything like that. Like, you know, it's been a new year and we just want to bring in positivity this year and you know, just do the right thing. That's a, it's a, it's a, it's a brand new slate. And I think we should just come in this year, just want to do the right thing and the correct thing, not just for us, just for everybody in the world, you know, just do the right thing. So my court case is still going on. It's still active. And I want to thank everybody who's been supporting me from day one. I want to ask you to keep supporting me and keep coming in because we couldn't do it without you guys. It's all about us. It's not just about me. This thing is about me getting it done, but it's all about us in the world. I'm trying to make sure any court system we go in or any courtroom we go in, we getting treated it, or we getting treated correctly and fairly, and things are not going over judges' heads and lawyers are not lying 
and things in that sort. So 2023 in my case right now, and I just want to talk about just a clean slate um, with New Jersey Supreme Court. It's been a whole lot of um, fraud and collusion and I'm not pointing no fingers. I'm just asking everybody, all the judges or anybody who's working on the case to do what's right and do their job the correct way. Even if you overlook something or didn't see something, everybody makes mistakes, as I said before. But, you know, it's time to actually do your job and look at everything and get it correct. Because, you know, you cannot use fraud to continue anything in this world. You can't use fraud to help you get forward in life. Then, you know, try to try to continue on your fraud or continue using fraud to get forward in life. And of course, just let you do that. That's, that's unconstitutional. And I think we should really be looking to fix that problem. They can't conceal something obtained by fraud. And that's for anyone in the world. So you can't go in the store and tell someone, I'm going to bring you back $20. Let me just get that. And they just believe you and you just like, because they know you or anything like that. So basically what I'm saying is the courts overlook things. They overlook a lot of things. And as I said before, it's not anyone's fault, but I'm just saying, I think these guys should do their job. We got high-end judges. We, in Supreme Court, this is the highest court in the world. And there shouldn't be no mistakes made. And I understand we're all humans and mistakes are made, but I'm just asking you guys to fix the problem, you know, fix the problem. It's, 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 it's pretty simple. Over Overlook the case files and the things that you got sealed. If, if, if there's no problem and there's no lies in there or anything like that, it should be unsealed. It should be unsealed to the public. The public should be able to come and, you know, see anything they want and be able to read this information, especially if we look for, for our government to, you know, we look for our government for everything and we, we go to court to get justice. We don't go to court to let someone use fraud and that just hurts your life. And somebody can just use fraud on the other side and continue to use fraud for years and years and years. And it just, so um, I just wanted to say, just, it's just it's like I said, it's, I'm not pointing the fingers at anyone, not the Supreme Court or anyone. I'm just asking the Supreme Court to do their job. Also, any other court that has anything to do with my case, I'm just asking you to really look at it and this, this really look at everything because I promise you it's things that's missed that you guys missed. And I just wanted to be fixed. It's not just for me. We all wanted to be fixed. Our lawyers, me as a person. Yes. I don't want to go to court and get treated any type of way differently. It's because I'm going against this person or going against anyone. We all should get treated fairly and the, the courts should just be doing a job period. That's it. You should be doing your job period. You're a judge. We put in, we, you got our life in your hand. You can do whatever you want on that stand and say whatever you want. So, that's that's very serious and i really think they should be taking that wow i really hope he gets the test what do you guys think should he get this test or should he just forget about it leave your comments below